Well, good morning to you. Um, our review today was going to be outside, but I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it is absolutely hoofing it down with rain. Now, luckily enough, I've already been outside and plugged the car in for our experiment today. So, today um, I'm going to be reviewing these. Um, and these are Vigapore Captain's 120 or oh, sorry, 1,200 watts um, solar generators. Now, they call them solar generators. They're basically a massive lithium battery with an inverter. Now, these are 1,200 watt each. However, these are joined by a cable, which gives an output of 2,400. So 2.4 kilowatt. I attempted a few weeks ago to use uh, the um, an anchor uh, solar generator to charge the car, which worked brilliantly. Now the car is currently at 76%. Now as I say, I have set it all up. It all is all plugged in. Um, let's just take this out of the back. Let's turn the camera around and show what's going on. Okay, so these units are now joined. Um, this one is, uh, I don't know what's going on, but it's actually, it won't reset the um, Wi-Fi. These, these have got an app which we'll go into in a minute. But according to theory, these are now joined. So you can see the picture of the plug there, picture of the plug there. Now I've not messed with anything on the car. Um, I've not changed any of the settings. And it's saying we're at 76%. Now I'm just about to push the uh, reset trip on the back of the, you see, back of the uh, actual plug. So let's see what happens. So I've pushed a reset trip and absolutely nothing. Uh, let's try again. Absolutely nothing. Right, let's go and check the plugs outside. Well, I'm not sure what's happened there at all. But as you can see now, these are actually charging the vehicle. Um, neither of them, however, are showing an output, which is really confusing, but the car is charging. So at 76%, it's now 20 to 2 in the afternoon, um, and the car is at full strength charging. So um, it says we've got 54 minutes and it's not showing any output at all, which is really weird. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, I have really not got a clue what's happened. Um, so I've tried to reset everything. It's showing us the car not charging. I've tried outside, so I'm going to reset the trip again. And wait to see what happens. Still nothing. Ah, here we go. We have an output, so that is pulling 1,363 and 1,276 watts, which means the car should, should be charging. Let's just try again. It is. 
and it's just told me so right there we go so the time is now two o'clock so we've, we've been at a little bit of messing about really so it's now two o'clock this these are both pulling uh, one three so it's nearly two thousand eight hundred watts and we have 76% and 103 miles. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these go flat and it's tripped. So they've both tripped. They've both tripped, which means it doesn't like, so that's an overload error. So I'm gonna go out to the car and I'm gonna drop the charging rate of the car and try again. Okay, I've just been out to the car and I've dropped it to reduce. So let's reset again. And see how we go. Let's just turn on the charger. Reset. They both clicked in. And we're waiting for an output draw which at the moment we don't seem to have again. Seventy-five. There you go. They're both pulling up together. Eight hundred, nine hundred. Okay, so not pulling as much this time. And let's check across here. What's China's still not charging, which obviously it is. It is obviously charging. So we're not we're not pulling as much wattage this time. Um, just over two thousand watt of pull. I think last time it was just a bit too much for it. And we're charging again, so 76%. And the time now, according to that, is 14.02. 76% and 103 miles. And both these units appear to, let's say, 65 minutes worth of charge. Let's see how much we leave this charge in, it puts into the battery. So the, um, the the calling fans have just kicked in on both of them. It, it's they're reasonably quiet, which is um, which is unusual. Normally they're pretty noisy, um, but it, they seem to be dropping at the same sort of rate. Um, well, you know, we're down to eighty-seven percent on one and eighty-eight percent on the other, and we've been going for about eight minutes. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just wondering how much this will put in compared to the Anki unit. Right, I've just come back out. Um, it's now 25 past two. Um, we're at 60% on one, 62% on the other. And just have a quick look at this. I think it says 78%. So it's put in 2% battery and we've now got 105 miles. So we've gained three miles. Um, which uh, could be enough to get you out of trouble. We'll come back when um, it's around the 20% mark. So, um, 
Our right hand unit is down to 20% with 13 minutes. And our left hand unit is at 24% um, with 16 minutes. And charge wise, we are up to 80%, I think it was 76 to start with. I think we're up to 80%, 107 miles. I think it was 102. Um, so five miles in and these are still quite happily going so but uh, we'll come back to you when they cut out now and uh, see how much charge we've got in total so um, this unit here is definitely using the power a lot quicker than this one um, I've actually briefly stopped the charge um, and now they've both clicked out so this one's down to 5% power it's clicked out it's clicked out we are at oh, let me see this 81% so 76 to start with um, so 5% in 5% charge 108 miles and I think it was 102 so they've now stopped charging because that one has reached five percent and that's its cut off um so how does it compare to other ones which we have trialed and reviewed yeah about the same really um five percent five miles six miles i think the um i think the anchor unit did a couple of more miles than that um, but it has charged the car it has given us five miles that will get you out of trouble do you want to carry two of these around in a boot your car up to you um, if you know you're going to be pushing it to the limits and you know there's not a charge there and it can make the difference yeah why not uh, and these these are at the cheaper end of the market compared to some of the other big companies uh, we are hoping to review a four kilowatt one soon, um, but we've got to wait and see, got to wait and see on that. Anyway, again, another little, will it do it? Yes, it will. So this is the Vigor Poor Captain's 120 watt, 1200 watt, combined with a link cable, uh, as charged the i3 and given it 5% battery. Um, just play it about. So... Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and we'll be back in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.